my very first time at the BTCC, I've kindly been invited from the guys from VersaFloor, who have now partnered up with Team WSR, and they have got the new floor in, in the garage. It's been a bit of a journey to get to this point, so you guys go and check that out, and I'm going to check out the garage. It's the day before the VersaFloor team present their designs to West Surrey Racing. Although the project is going well, the presentation isn't quite finished, and Darren is now feeling the pressure. Okay, guys. So um, obviously, we need to get to get in on the details on this this now because uh, we're presenting this at nine o'clock tomorrow morning. We're leaving at six a.m. to to um, get to the meeting on time. Uh, the race season starts soon. We've got one shot at this, uh, and we need to make sure that it's right. So the the changes that we need to make then um, are so it's, it's close to this design, uh, but obviously they wanted the. Um, they like the uh, BMW logo at the front. It's more than that, isn't it, Tom? We've got, we've got to get the presentation sorted. We need to get the digital presentation sorted. Yeah, sure, yeah. And we need to have these printed out on um, A0 boards by tomorrow morning to <laughs> yeah, go and yeah, present yeah. to the client. We can't present to the client with pieces of paper this size. I'm a bit disappointed that we're at this state at this time of the day. It's all right saying that you'll take you a couple of hours to change that but then we need to get the prints out on the boards, we need another review, we need to make sure everything's absolutely spot on and we're leaving at 6 a.m. So I think, to be honest, the best thing you can do is, is crack on and, uh, and, and get that started now. Sure, yeah, that's fine. All right. What okay. happens if we can't deliver on time? No, that's not, that's not an option. Right. We will deliver on time. Yeah. All right. Yes. All right. Okay. I've got to go because I've got too much stuff to do. Uh, well, we, we, we had a brief um, which was very detailed from the customer what they wanted to deliver um, and to be fair to Tom, um, they changed the, the brief very uh, recently. We're not really there yet so um, Tom's got to burn the midnight oil. There's an awful lot to do to get ready for um, tomorrow because there's an awful lot of, of the details and commercial aspects um, that need to be sorted for the meeting tomorrow so if you don't mind I need to crack on and um, get on with that. Okay, thanks guys. The next morning, Darren and Joseph travel to Surrey with their final designs. It's been a late night, and they hope they have done enough to wow the WSR team. With the race media, hospitality, and spectators all visiting the race garages at Donington, they really need to get this right. So the big reveal. So we've done some work on three garage layouts. There'll be a mix and match, so there might be a feature on one that you want to take out and put on another. We've got the um, boards that show the designs and then some printouts that we can discuss the technical details and size and that kind of stuff. Donington's certainly one of the more challenging tracks in terms of garage width. Yeah. Um, so no, that's good that we, we can fit in there because I think from memory it doesn't get any tighter than Donington. As much as we've been there so many times before, you'd be surprised how many times it's a case of, oh, how many, uh, how far back do we start the patch area? So no, that's, yeah. that's perfect. We normally would, um, would have walling along the back, but they um, have the open up the front and the back for the public. So yeah. basically the public come around the back of the garages and we, we actually work on the cars the other way around. You've just got that flexibility with the with the yeah. product, you know. Yeah, absolutely, I think that's. Put, it's, you know, something like, like this, we'll put a few, few ideas together and, and see what happens. This is what I like, I mean we're able to achieve things here that we never would be able to achieve with what we're using currently so I personally I'm, I'm, I'm drawn to this um, and I've actually saw recently uh, a two series on display mm -hmm. with a very similar sort of black platform for the car to sit on and then the grey surround um, so I think BMW you know that fits in with what they're currently doing yeah, image-wise image, image wise as well. So We talked about um, creating panels um, and it would be a case of number, numbering those, pan, those panels. Yeah. Um, at the Autosport show we had three single garages set up, the Dakar, the Porsche and the Le Mans garage and they were just separated to the big panels uh, and that, that whole space was down within an hour. Another thing I like about being able to pick up this section and put it here is our drivers don't always go out in the same order. We, we tend to put them in championship order, leaving the garage. Right. So there's going to be occasions where Morgan's going to be this side, maybe taking them will be this side. Yeah. Potentially look at introducing black ramps. Yeah. And then at places like Silverstone, where the space is, is much bigger, we can look at having 
that gradient a lot further in and much bigger area of, of black tile before mm. yeah. going into the rest of the design there. So we have uh, a small patch area, square if you like, um, and then specific set of wheels that we set the car on. So what we'd currently do is drill four very small circles into the floor, yeah. and that's where the patch would locate every time. We obviously set that up once at the beginning of the weekend, and then as long as we're going on that patch each time. Um, so yeah, I mean, we'd have to probably still put the four um, small circles in the floor in, which I assume wouldn't be an issue. No. Um, no. And that helps us locate the patch. For sure, we've, we've tried all, all sorts of things, and... Ultimately, each one ruins the, the look of the garage. So. so we've been talking to Verso Floor this morning uh, about their product. Uh, I'm personally really excited by it. A lot of versatility with it. It creates a lot more options for us in terms of branding space uh, on the floor within the garage. And for me, it, it levels up the overall image of that garage area uh, on an event. So the garage flooring market, if you like, uh, within motorsport has been very stale, should I say, for a number of years. The flooring is very basic. It's designed to be put down quickly, come back up quickly. But with that, unfortunately, it, it doesn't give us many options with what we can do with it. Uh, whereas now, it appears VersaFloor have created something that is easy to put down, easy to pick back up, but also gives us that added option of uh, having lights in the floor, creating certain uh, logos for our, for our partners. and really lifting that space if you like so it, it takes all the the key areas that we needed originally and has now added a, a, a lot more options for us. The garage area as a whole is, is what the fans and the media will see on an event. It's very rare that they'll be able to look inside our trucks or, or look behind the scenes but that is effectively our storefront if you like. As much as we're here to go racing uh, uh, and try and win races we can't do that without the backing of our partners. Now our partners need something that is going to benefit them. The only problem we've got is we have a week until the, the, the cars are launched. So as much as the cars uh, don't look complete behind me, there's a lot of work that's going to happen very quickly now uh, over the next seven days. So I've, I've given Verso for the challenge of going back, refining these designs and yeah, trying to deliver something very quickly but that is motorsport and, and that's why I'm really excited to work with Verso Floor because they really understand that side of the business. Great to see you again. Thank you so much I'd, for your time. I'd say Great they were um, quite impressed with what we've done with their initial concepts and how we've taken their ideas to the to the next level. You know when when you see a team put put the um, level of effort that these guys clearly do into into being that championship winning team we want to really show off their space as best that we can. And clearly the details matter to these guys, don't they? And exactly. It's, getting you right is going to be really important. They're not, they're, they won't, they're not going to accept anything less than perfect. So we need to make sure that it is perfect. It's going to be a challenge to get it all done in time. So yeah, we've got to crack on first thing Monday. So yeah, I think the best thing to do now is to jump back in the car and uh, get back to the factory and put everything into action. Yeah, let's crack on, make it up. The team have manufactured and assembled the completed floor. It's set up on display back at the Verso Floor Warehouse. Darren and the team are hoping that when the car is in place, Carl and Wesseray Racing will give them the go-ahead to take it to the track. I am genuinely speechless. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I think it, it takes the, the garage floor into a, a, a new level uh, for the sport as a whole, really. So. Uh, the lights, the lights are amazing. Uh, I want to, to switch the lights off now every circuit we go yeah, to. Yeah. It obviously looks good on paper, but to, to see it in real life with a car sitting in position. Only a few weeks ago, we were sitting in your office looking at, looking at the paper designs, and I think that the, the real thing has actually come out really well, in, you know. Feels like a few days later, here we are with a, a fully designed garage, uh, you know. I'm gonna say it was easy and we did it in, you know. <laughs> That's not, that's, not the re that's not the reality. We'll, we'll pretend we built the car overnight <laughs> yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The floor as a whole creates a lot of options. Um, so whether you're specifically looking at something bespoke for your garage or you want to highlight a certain area or, or even just showcase 
what it is that you're putting onto the floor. I think VersaFloor gives you an option whereby you can achieve whatever your goal is in whatever industry. Uh, and I think that is what makes it so unique, is the, the level of options that, that it gives. <laughs> Motorsport as a package, we're not just selling the brand in space on the car, we're also selling the brand in space on our trucks, within our garage, and naturally these, these sponsors change. Uh, companies change their branding, new partners come on board, uh, and what I really like is with the Mosaic system, I can change that sponsor's logo on this flooring, and you know I can do that quickly and still effectively show off their brand, um, you know, even if it was a case of changing that week on week. So here we are in the garage. As you'll probably agree, it looks absolutely amazing. The guys have been kind enough to go out on track to give us a proper look at the flooring. Um, stood here beside fellow Northern Irish man, Colin Turkington's spot. I'm gonna go now and have a proper look at the start of the race and let you guys check out this awesome flooring. I guess motorsport's very unique in a sense that we're, we're in a different location every other weekend. Um, the flooring doesn't just get put down and left for a long period of time. Uh, we effectively set up a complete garage uh, for a weekend and then take it all back down again and move to the next location. So the thing that I quite like about VersaFloor is A, it's easy to transport, it's very easy to put down and bring back up and they've really thought about um, you know, our industry if you like and, and the, the sense that I can put it down and, and put it back up uh, a number of times and it's not damaging the product in any way stood up to what we need to need out of floor and design is I'm personally a big fan of so and it does look pretty cool we've had a few comments I've heard all oh, sort of look at that floor and everything like, yeah it just make it gives the garage an extra edge it just makes it look more pro professional yeah let's move up the grid hope for some points and yeah let's, let's win some championships so it's been an awesome first day at the BCCC Really enjoyed it and most of all I'm so chuffed to see that the floor in here has worked out just as well for these guys as it has in my garage. Come on Jesse, let's go. Get your flag, get your flag. Hey garage owners, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to see how we can help you upgrade your garage floor with your own design or just your favourite brand logo.